back to my channel. My name is Nas. If you are new here, we talk about all things lifestyle, beauty, and fashion, and content creation. This video is just a regular old vlog, honey. I am putting on my sunscreen. I have been loving this one from Kiehl's because we are on our way to a little baby because we're about to go on a little walk. Y'all started my period a few days ago and I just was out of it. So I haven't worked out literally. I think it's been three days and mentally it's messing with me and i know girl you're in your period simmer down but my head is like girl what are you doing it doesn't matter but i allowed myself to really rest so i needed and i honestly needed to rest so i allowed myself to rest but i didn't let my mind win i actually listened to my body and i rested all day yesterday i think i was in the bed maybe 80 percent of the day I got up, I edited the rest of the vlog, last week's vlog that y'all saw, and yeah, I just eat. I did eat, the dogs out and stuff, and then I just kept getting in the bed. I'll get out of the bed and get back in the bed. I didn't even bring my laptop in the room. I just literally chilled, but I feel better because of it. My back is on fire, and I don't know, that probably is just the cramps. I think the cramps are literally in my back at this point, but other than that, I feel good. I did stretch. I think I'm gonna stretch a little bit more before I head out. It is 8.50. Um, I've been up for a few hours just scrolling on my phone because I've been hearing about people not being able to lose weight because of their cortisol levels. And I was up. I was up because I ran down the rabbit hole. I was mentioning to my homegirl, and I think I talked about this a little bit in last week's vlog as well, about how I feel like I really need to get hormone testing done because I've gotten blood work done and I just don't understand why I'm not losing weight. And she was like, I probably need to get your hormones tested. And then other people were talking about cortisol levels. So I just started going down a rabbit hole and then people were saying like, things like lack of sleep and just lack of rest in general. And we all know that no rest can lead to gait, weight gain. But also like looking at your phone first thing in the morning, all these little things. So caffeine and if you are familiar with me typically if I go to the gym I'll take a shot of literally I'll pour a shot of dark black coffee because it, I just prefer that over a whole can of energy drink personally I don't know I just like the the shot I feel like it does what it needs to do but they're saying things like that first thing in the morning drink caffeine all these different things and of course to focus on low impact workouts like walking pilates yoga that stuff because y'all know i be lifting i lift i do stairmaster i lift a lot so you just want to switch things up i'm still going to do my walks and i'm still going to lift but maybe not as heavy maybe i'll do it in moderation maybe include more cardio than lifting and also i'm on keto right now so i probably need to look that up to see if that's even something that I should be doing right now but feel really good overall i'm about to fill up my water bottle stretch a little bit more and then we're gonna get outside i don't have a plan for myself as far as how long i want to be outside i just know that i want to get outside i just don't want to be in the house right now i've been in the house the last few days because i just ain't been feeling too good but yo i'm going to congratulate myself on whatever it is that I do so whether it's 20 minutes whether it's an hour we still getting outside I'm trying to debate if I want to put a crew neck on or a pullover or just wear this t-shirt because walks be getting hot but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my back is on fire and I will be back with y'all in the lead <laughs> grocery store our walk i'm gonna just put the results up here boom and boom i thought i really was gonna do a 30 minute walk and it turned into what what y'all see it turns into this and i'm not mad not mad at all who 700 calories burned 
Yes, ma'am. From walking? Girl, give it to me. Sign me up. Um, no, but obviously, y'all can see I feel very, very good. I'm about to go ahead and cook some breakfast. After I got back, we ran to the grocery store just to grab a few things. I really needed some fruit. I ran out of all my berries. I ate all my berries this week, which is a good thing. I feel like I typically don't be eating all my berries, even when I'm not on keto. But yeah, I, I just like my little berries. And since I can't have my, that's probably what it is because I'm quick to make a smoothie. And so, yeah, because I can't make my smoothie, I could eat a few little berries a day and it, it'll, it'll hit the spot for me since I'm doing keto. So I'm about to wash my fruit and then cut it up and prepare it for the week. And then I am going to watch church again. <laughs> I watched it on the walk. I had a nice little worship jam session on the walk, but I'm about to watch church again. And then I also just picked my winners for from my broadcast channel. Uh, I've been doing giveaways in there and I just picked eight people, eight, eight people, eight people this week to give product to. So we'll pack those boxes. Maybe we'll pack those today. I don't know. But I, what I do know is that I need to clean my house, girl. It's ghetto. It's ratchet. It's a mess. It's specifically my bedroom and my downstairs. So my laundry room, my family room, shambles. You know, I get that urge to like want to reorganize and want to do stuff and clean up and declutter. And then it leaves you left me a few weeks ago so my downstairs is atrocious so i need to clean that for sure but i also just want to like you know it's that time to clean the sheets and the pillowcases and all that stuff for the bedroom i just want to go into the week feeling really good my office isn't too crazy and she definitely needs to be tidied up but she's not like it's not like the other two spaces that i'm talking about i also would like to mop but i might make one of these kids do it later on this evening but that's only it's priority priority today was to move my body pick my winners from the broadcast channel for my giveaways and clean up my house that's it that's all i really wanted to batch today but i'm gonna go back to my schedule what i was doing before when i first decided to go all in as a content creator monday's long form short form tuesdays and then editing on wednesdays we came back to that this week we uploaded our video this morning which i feel great about so i even put like a little post in the community little area on youtube and asked the girls what they would like my next video to be because my fashion videos are doing great but i know that i have so much to offer outside of fashion and i just want to make sure that I'm giving the girls what they want because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for y'all too. But I do want to obviously post stuff that you guys would be interested in. So I did post on the com community tab, just asking what y'all wanted to see. So you can also let me know in this video what y'all would like to see. That way it helps me. But I also want to start learning some things together, like finding outfits because we got some trips coming up, girl. We're going to Essence Fest. So maybe the, later this evening, we'll start like, browsing and saving stuff and looking. <laughs> I definitely want to get started on that, but not even necessarily looking. But also like looking to see what I already have that I can take. Like putting looks together with stuff that I already have. And I use Milano anytime I travel and I have to pack something. I love using Milano to like plan out my outfits and stuff like that. So we'll be doing that later this evening. But priority, clean this damn house. Because it's a mess. I am going to finish watching church. Excuse my language, Lord. I know I was cussing. But I'm about to get into my word again. Well, to get into church, make some breakfast. I think I low key just want eggs, eggs and bacon, eggs and bacon, and a little bit of yogurt on the side with some fruit, just to fill me up until I overflow. I'm gonna see y'all in a second. <laughs>
Hey friends, we're recording live, looking like a crust bucket and all. I wanted to sit down just for a little bit real quick, just to let y'all know what's been going on this morning. First of all, we went to the gym. It is Monday, my bad. I'm pretty sure I put it somewhere on the screen, but it is Monday. We've been to the gym. Did I vlog yesterday? I did. We've done our devotional. We did our worshiping. Now we're eating a little bit. I made a little coffee. I have some eggs cooking some eggs boiling i'm boiling some eggs what we're about to do though i think i told y'all yesterday oh speaking of yesterday my bad girl my bad i had to be a mother i had to be a mother i had to wash my girl's hair blow dry her hair do all of the things cook dinner i did get my laundry done thank god for that and not clean my room i washed the sheets and stuff but we didn't clean the room so we'll get to that probably later this evening the room's not crazy and i really just wanted to wash my sheets and stuff too so we washed all of the sheets all the pillowcases and all the things so we got a lot of stuff done so that's why i didn't put the camera back up yesterday because your girl was working i was being a housekeeper yesterday so that's that but i feel really good y'all we're at 5300 steps we're at 5300 steps so we've done our research or our or i didn't have to do like research research i just kind of scripted out some things that i want to talk about in today's YouTube YouTube video. I did a poll yesterday, day before yesterday, yesterday, um, asking what the girls wanted to see, whether that was another fashion related video, because that seems to be doing really well on my channel. But I also like, even though that's doing well, I still want to give the girls what they want because I encompass all these different things, all these different qualities, all these different categories I could talk about. I gave them an option and so far the reset, the monthly reset as a content creator is number one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that video. I am also going to try my hardest to film another YouTube video, which is going to be the accessory haul. So talking about like my favorite glasses and you know, necklaces and earrings and bags and stuff like that. I think that just makes sense because it's easy. Like it's, that's an easy video. So I am, the time is... 724. So we're actually about to go start getting ready, getting ourselves together, you know, boost ourselves up a bit, a lot, <laughs> and I start filming. I am feeling really good. I time block. So I normally, I time block anyways, but sometimes I be going a little over. A lot of times I be going a little over and I came across um, this video. Hold, hold on. Let me get his name because I love him as a creator, but I am horrible when it comes to username. So let me grab my phone. Actually, let's go over here. The creator I'm referring to is Adrian, Adrian Purr. Oh, no, no, focused on me. I focused on my phone. There we go. Adrian Purr. I, I started following him when he was posting every single day, all of last year, he posted every single day. But yesterday he dropped a video talking about like time blocks and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I time block, but I time block in my head or I'll time block on like paper. Which, like I said, sometimes I'll be going over. But I've never, I have never used my calendar in my phone. I don't use my calendar on my laptop, on my iPad, nothing. So I was like, him seeing him do that, I was like, let me try something. I've had uh, Notion, I've had Asana, I've had Toggle, I've had all of these other CRMs or like, what do you call that? Like productivity apps and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know if it's just, overly complicated or what, but I just prefer in my head or on paper. So I was like, you know what? Let's try something new. Cause right now we're in this era where we are trying something different to get different results. So I wanted to see if this would help with my productivity. So I did as of right now, we still got a few minutes. As of right now, we have about 30 minutes here. Let me show you guys what, what I made. It ain't nothing crazy and it's nothing crazy, but I'm gonna show you anyways. All right, so here's what we have so far. I didn't like, go into detail and put like, stuff in there. It's literally just time blocking. So I had from five to or 8.30, yeah, is that five to 8.30? I think I did, some time. 
and I'm going to put it for the rest of the week. And then we have posts on socials. And that's time. That's going to be the time between my devotional and worshiping. That That's always around the time that I post anyways, because I'm coming home from the gym. I'm sitting down when I get home. I'm chilling. I'm naturally on my phone. And then I can reframe my mindset. Then I put my phone away and then I jump into my worshiping and devotional. Oh, y'all. I think I put it in the notes when I gave y'all the clip of me doing my devotional and stuff earlier. But man, Pastor Darius Daniels literally was right on time. I'll get more into that in a second. But we have that from 10 o'clock, 8 to 10 o'clock. And that's also that time is like showering and I haven't showered yet. But now I have time because I have I don't have to get ready until 12 so that technically would be a part of the get ready time me showering and stuff like that Um, but yeah so then I have like this little gap here when I also can shower and stuff or eat (laughs) because that's important yeah so I have my research and scripting which we just got done with and then we're gonna start filming at two and then we're going to have our walk at five. We're doing a workshop this week. So this day you see it's a little bit different. I'm kind of just like going with the flow on this day. I'm pretty sure there's some things that I need to do. But as of right now, it's just kind of blank. So I'll fill that in as the week progresses. But I know for sure we going to do our morning walk and we're also going to do our workshop. So that is that. But yeah, I'm going to see how this you know, this works. Kind of makes sense anyways, because I'm always on my laptop. So I'm going to try that out. But when I say Pastor Darius Daniels was on time, last week I was telling people I didn't want to. So I'm kind of going back and forth. I don't want to do the 52 weeks, read the Bible in 52 weeks, because I was telling my best friend last week, I was like, I feel like I'm just at this point, like the beginning, I felt like I was like doing really good. But now I feel like I'm, I'm hitting a plateau. And in my mind, I'm not really retaining what I should be reading because I'm reading to finish and not reading to feed, which was a word that I received from Pastor Darius Daniels in this. I think I probably shared it with y'all. If not, I'll put it in the link down below. But the video that I was watching this morning, I watched it. I watched it a few days ago, actually, or whenever he dropped it. The video that I was watching, I, I watched it, I watched it again, but I watched it a few days ago when he first dropped it, but I felt like it was right on time because I was literally having this conversation with my friend talking about, girl, I feel like I'm just over here reading and I ain't retaining nothing anymore. And I feel like one, I feel like my brain is just wandering and I'm getting up and I'm just kind of jumping and forcing myself to read the Bible when for me, at least it don't work like that. I need to like take my time, decompress, and the I can't remember the method that he said it was. I remember the acronym was which was ACTS. So you want to do your adoration first. C was ooh, what is C? Compassion. Basically, and I also, so I ended up having this conversation with my husband also, maybe a day before I had the conversation with my best friend, but I was telling him, I was like, I need to learn how to study the Bible. I just read it. I need to learn how to study it for myself. And I felt like this, literally this whole video was for me. I was like, God, you are so funny. He was like, here you go. This is what you need. This is how you, you gonna get closer to me. And it just was right on time. So basically the acronym, my bad, is ACTS. So adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. And he talks about worshiping first, just doing things a little bit in this order so you can really receive the fullness of what you're about to get into. So worshiping honestly just brings me there, takes me there, makes me want to get into the Bible, makes me want to read. It makes me want to get, you know, be thankful and give thanks and all those things. And then you pray. So you worship, then you pray before you jump into your studying. Um, you just pray for whatever, honestly, you pray for. It could be the ACTS acronym. So give your adoration, confess your feelings and how you're feeling, faults, all those different things. Give thanks for things that God has already done and what you will continue to do, but relationships and you know, material things that we have that, that we were able to reap from the, and the things that we were able to see from the fruits of our labor, from our labor. And then, oh, what was the other one? anything that you're grateful for really and then supplication so I just felt like I really needed this it was literally on time like I said because I I just felt like I was just reading the bible I wasn't getting fed until I started and I've never been the person to like scroll or like um flip through it and be like oh this is what I'm reading this week which is there's nothing wrong with that and he talks about that too but what I was doing would I would like, think about how I'm feeling or think about the season that I'm in and then google scriptures based off of that feeling or how those thoughts that I was having and then I would go find that scripture in the bible and then I could like read it 
but I wasn't studying it. I would take a little note here and there, but I wasn't really like paying attention to the takeaways, the keywords, application. Bible study basically was really good this morning. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, but let me go ahead and get myself together. Um, I feel really pumped uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to just back on this schedule y'all know i've had this schedule for a little minute but for the past i don't know maybe four weeks i haven't been i've still been showing up but i want to like really stick to a routine that is the goal so i'm excited to get back to the routine of filming long form on mondays short form on tuesdays wednesdays editing and then thursdays just being mine but let me go ahead because i have an announcement to make I'm doing a workshop, y'all. I have an announcement to make at 12, so I wanna make sure that I'm out the shower by then so I can post that. Actually, let me get the flyer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat and shower, do all those things, and we'll meet when we get in the room. You know, it was like I was craving it. Wow, yeah. I was like, you know, you go to the bathroom, I'm trying to light a coal in the bathroom. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then, and then, I was at that A real bad. I was at that A real bad. English. Yeah. Uh, like, that was a sound. Like tea and biscuit type. Yeah, yeah. that was a sound like one box. Literally. <laughs> box. Box. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You have to buy you some cover. I do. Plug. If. <laughs> it's a lot going on sometimes. Mm. He made me bad. He was like, because we were talking for so long. Mm. He was like, oh, oh, so oh, I'm oh, another chance to read. Yeah. 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 of like pressure nowadays. Like, yeah. 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 I don't play. Yeah. Like, why are you? Men. Oh, that's a different. Oh. All right, y'all. We are an hour behind. I don't want to hear nothing. Makeup is done. I just have to throw on my lashes and I didn't put no bronzer on so my face is looking a little flat. But other than that, I am going to let this sit on for maybe, it's, okay, it's 2.52. So maybe till three and then we'll spray and yeah, I'm going to throw the lashes on now though and get that out of the way. Then when I take this off, I can bronze up here. I need to clean it up because I think I got a little bit of... Uh, see, I didn't put no <laughs> product up here because I knew I was going to have to wipe it anyways from the, uh, the adhesive, from the glue, because I did lay her down just a little bit in the front. But yeah, um, I'm just going to throw on any type of shirt because this is YouTube, so I just need to be cute from <laughs> waist up. I'm thinking that filming might take hour. Maybe, maybe an hour of footage, and then once I edit it, it'll probably be like a... 20 minute video 30 minute video if that but scripting is done so it shouldn't take that long we just got a new pair of glasses because i'm still low-key i'm like oh an hour behind now i'm kind of contemplating if i even want to do the second video but i think i need to because i'm honestly i'm just at this stage in my content creation business <laughs> that I just do it that's the mentality just do it get it done with like why are you playing games you know? just do it and do it now so you won't gotta do it later. Because if we're being honest, if I were to film two videos this week, I'll have another video for next week. Technically, I already have my two videos for this week. My next video is going to be the content creator restart and then this vlog that y'all watching right now. And then next week I won't have to film anything but my vlog. So I might go ahead. The thing is I have some trips coming up. So I'm thinking that I might end up filming more YouTube videos than I normally do just to get those out the way. And that way I don't fall behind while I'm traveling. That's another thing. Just I'm going to share this in the um, video, the monthly restart, but just knowing what you need to do or knowing what's coming up, know your calendar. That way you can prepare so you don't fall behind. If that is a concern that you have, I know everybody is not the same. Some people are like, girl, I'll post when I post. But when you have specific goals, you can't do that. You can't just be posting when you want to post. You can, that, and honestly, it works for some people. But the majority of us, it doesn't work like that. So you need to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to let these cool off before I comb them out. I really like how my hair turned out though. It's kind of like, I wanted like beach waves. I didn't want curls. So that's what we got going on over here. So trying to figure out where I want to film this. I actually didn't mind me filming in the living room. The thing is the kids are about to get out of school. So there's going to be a lot of traction in the living room. Honestly, 
that might be the most quiet place too because our back door like balcony right there y'all see the dogs sit over there and they they just stare out the window waiting for somebody to bark at so <laughs> if i'm in the family room most likely they're going to come and lay in there with me and be quiet so maybe i'll do that that's turn this off also that's the idea i think we'll just do it in the living room that'll be the vibe uh hope you're doing well who is this paid partnership upwork got some campaigns coming through today through obviously y'all if you guys aren't signed up with obviously you definitely should it's just one of those platforms that provide brand deals let's see what they what they talk about the offer is though one five to six minute seo video tiktok video and three to five still images please submit your desired rate for this video project at sign up we cannot guarantee the exact rate but we will work as close oh so i like when they're like this because then it gives you room to negotiate some of them they'll provide you with a rate which the rates have been pretty spot on so i haven't had to negotiate really because honestly they've been over offering me what my normal rate is so i've just been like and the ones that have been lower i have tried to negotiate and they're like oh we can't that this is the rate you either want it or not so sometimes you just gotta pass if it don't make sense but then there's ones like this where they let you like name your rate which is also nice because then you can start high all right i'm gonna send this to my agent all right y'all um, i'm gonna go ahead and fix this little area spray it and then go set up and we can get to filming this first video we can comb this out too wide tooth comb so cute i love it because i like the little twist method and then the twist pull method is what i like to call it i think i see that but the little twist pull method y'all see where straight down here but wavy at the top this is like my favorite ways to wear long long hair looks so it, it, it's like a organized chaos organized bed look like a put together bed look like a little messy bed hair but it's intentional and it just looks just like model hair just, all right y'all let's get dressed all right y'all i just put on this blazer i think i might have to pin it because i don't want it i just have like <laughs> this gray bra i can't i don't have time oh I do have a black bandeau. Maybe I'll put that on. Um, but I threw on some earrings. I got on some leggings, child. Y'all ain't gonna see those. Um, and I'm keeping my watch on because we count steps over here, okay? We at 7,000. We at 7,000. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep them on. I was wondering if I should do a necklace, but I don't think I am. Um, but yeah, I like this. I don't know why, like, my go-to thing when I'm filming, like, sit-down videos is a blazer. I think I need more, like, blouses and like shirts that I like. I don't I don't have a lot of those. I have like jackets, like blazers, denim jackets, um, I dresses, but I don't have a lot of like tops. Um, so that's something I'll be invested in the summer. But yeah, and I love this one from H&M. I'm gonna uh, use the lint roller just to get her together a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna set up. I'm gonna use my Canon r8 to shoot with i just love this and i'm i have a 24 millimeter lens on this camera so it's very wide so i can be really close like i can literally be like right here y'all still see it in the frame i can be right here and it still be wide enough and make it look like i'm kind of far and still give me that blurred background um without me having to be so far away compared to like my 35 which i actually really really like um i want to try that camera out filming like sit down video one day but like I said you got to be pretty far and also it's a cheap 35 so I'll link it below because she gets the job done for pictures okay look at this picture the blurred background quit playing her but the video portion like or me shooting a video makes me a little nervous because she's loud and that's what I mean by cheap she's not silent at all so when you're trying to focus it's like nyeh, 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 nyeh. so I can only imagine what that sounds like in a video unless it was like a video where I'm doing a voiceover I probably wouldn't care but girl y'all would hate me so I'm gonna use that lens my 
mics should be done charging. I charged them earlier. I remembered to do that. So yeah, we're ready. I'm about to take my iPad in the living room and yeah, let me get my, I gotta put the little clip on here. I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna head out there. It's the fact that my, y'all dying. Y'all got 18% child. I have one job. My laptop is also dying, so typically I use my laptop to charge y'all because it's long enough, but we're going to let um, the laptop get a little bit of juice. We pull up my script, but this is the little setup I got. I think it looks really cute on camera. I think you guys will like it, and I think this will be my designated sit-down area from now on. I tried my bedroom, which I liked, but the thing is when you're filming in front of natural light it's hard to control because you can't control the curtain i mean the curtains you can't control the clouds the curtains so you can't like it's just annoying for me at least it may not be y'all probably don't even notice but for me it irks me while i'm editing because you can see the shadows on your face go from like super bright to super dark and when i'm shooting my what is this called my videos, <laughs> when I'm doing my videos, I like to lock my lighting and lock the set. I can't really control it though when the it's going brighter and lighter, brighter, lighter. I'm glad I started talking to y'all because I ain't even plugged up the mic. And that's happened way too many times since I've gotten these mics. <laughs> y'all, the struggle be so real. Make sure this is plugged in, child. But you're about to go ahead and get started. I'm not even worried about time no more. It's 3.52. I said I want to film till five, but it might be six. I don't think that's too far off. And the good thing about, especially like when you're doing YouTube videos, where you guys are, are, are doing YouTube videos, girl, script, it saves you so much time. So much time. I said this might take an hour. I don't know, because I don't have that many talking points in this. Well, I got quite a few, but it ain't, it ain't nothing crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Sir. I don't think it'll be that. What is going on my, oh, I'm about to say what is going on my laptop. We just have eight talking points. Oh, I did add a few more on my phone. I script on Canva, if you guys care to know. <laughs> I just like using Canva because then you can use the magic, right? A little AI feature. So if there's something that I want to add or a topic that I want to like elaborate on, I can ask. Just get a little insight. There may be something in there that, that it's, they ain't always good. I'll say that, they ain't always good, but it does kind of give you prompts where you can elaborate. You're not thinking of a prompt, a specific prompt, but then you can elaborate more based off of what they're giving you because they're being very vague, which I don't mind because I ain't looking for you to give me the answers, child. I'm just looking for you to, my gears going, which works perfectly. So let me this over and I like to make my, what do you call it? The percentage where you can see how big it is, it's normally at 100, but I like to put it at like 150, 130, between 130 and 150, just so when I'm looking back at the script when I need to, I'm not like looking for where I left off at. So this video is going to be for content creators, just how to have an effective refresh, setting your month as a, as a content creator. So I know this stuff. So honestly, it shouldn't take an hour. Like I said before, I was like, oh, maybe it'll take an hour. Girl, it's probably gonna be 30 minutes. We'll see, it's 3.54 though. I'm looking for my little fuzzy for the mic. All right, got our fuzzy. I don't think I'm gonna clamp it on because I don't know, sometimes when I'm filming, I be looking at it and I be like, <laughs> I don't wanna see that, but let's see how I am. Cause I, oh yeah, also my hair, sometimes you can like hear the wrestling with my hair. So I'm gonna just clamp it to my, I'm just gonna just sit it up here. No, I need this to go. Oh, I can just clamp it right here and just have it like that. I hate how easy this little puff comes off. A little microphone wind thing. It just literally just pops. Doink! <laughs> this is what we gonna do. I'm ghetto rigging and I'm gonna clamp it right here. So when I enunciate, perfect, there it is. Oh, let me make sure both of them are on though. Six, six. Testing, testing, testing. There we go. All right, y'all, I'll insert a little bit of footage, um, but y'all, it ain't nothing to see here. See y'all in a minute. <laughs> and with the first video, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I don't have a lot of storage on this card, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it. And then we're gonna do the next video. But I'm gonna um, let the kids know, cause I think Katie was trying to make some, she was trying to make some noodles. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, transfer this stuff. Oh, it's five o'clock by the way. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do an accessory haul. I'm trying to think, cause low key, I just kind of want to do earrings and like, 
not earrings, sunglasses, because that's what everyone is asking me about. But maybe I'll save it. Everything doesn't have to be in this one video. That's what I keep messing up on. Um, when I think of like a haul video, I'm like, oh, let me do a haul video. But everything does not have to be in one video. That's how you get more for your, more for your bang or more bang for your buck. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That's how you get more content. So there could be a part two, part three, part four. Maybe I'm showing five glasses in this one um, and three pair of shoes and three bags. It ain't gotta be nothing crazy. And maybe talk about some of the things that are on my list. You know, um, maybe I'll do that. So yeah, I'm gonna get this together and then we'll be back. I'm gonna change this too. And I think I kinda wanna stand up for this next one because it's not gonna be crazy. I don't have to look at a script or anything like that, which I barely needed the script because I know all this stuff, but um, yeah, it at least kept me on track as far as the topics, the bullet points that I wanna talk about. But yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, y'all, we have made it to the room. I figured this would be a better setting than trying to haul all of my stuff out of my closet, which is my closet, where everything is, into out there. So it just makes sense to be in here. Um, this is gonna be my backdrop which I like. Um, it also gave me an idea. People have been asking me for scent recommendations and like uh, summer spring scents. Now I don't, I made a scent video and it actually did perform pretty well. And I, the thing with me, I like to stick into what I, I like to stick to what I know. Like when some information that I'm privy on that I could talk about over and over again, the, the fragrance community scares me. Girl, all I know is it smells good. Um, and I did preface that in my last video and it seemed to do pretty well. So maybe I will go ahead and do another one, but girl, I was not pressed to do another one. Okay. Because the girls be scaring me. Okay. They will spend 10 minutes describing one perfume when all I got to say is it smells good. I can think of like a, a person that it might smell like, like I give you an idea, <laughs> but all them words that y'all be using to describe the scents. That ain't me. But back to this, I'm gonna go ahead. I have my little cart. So if you watched my last vlog, I showed y'all the little cart that I was using for my makeup when I'm doing makeup over there in the little vanity area. So I cleared that off and I put my sunglasses right here. Um, I think I'm also gonna do earrings. I ain't got too many, but um, sunglasses, earrings, and purses. And then the next one I'll do I, I might just do a shoe haul and shoes that I want type of video because people are really asking about my Kitten Hill video, like Kitten Hill recommendations since that video went viral. So I'm gonna make that separate. Um, maybe I'll share. That's the thing. I be getting my shoes and they be gone. Like I, I can't recommend them to you. I can recommend places, but a lot of the places that I shop, they be gone, y'all. Um, so yeah, maybe I won't do that. We're gonna do bags. We're going to do some jewelry and we'll do sunglasses and then we'll be done. And then I could take this makeup off and go on my walk. I'm so thirsty to go get on my walk. Um, but with me doing all this running around, girl, we almost at our 10K steps. We're at 8,900, 8,966 to be exact. All right. Um, I will insert some of these clips in this vlog. You will have to watch the video when we get to the video. See you in a minute. <laughs> I am exhausted. Yesterday's walk. Look at me. I've made the executive decision that I am not creating today. I need to get my life together. I need to do my nails. I did my nails last week. No, two weeks ago. A week and a half ago, something. And I broke a nail. Well, oh, that's what I'm getting to. That's what I'm trying to say. My nails are coming off. This never happens. Literally lifting. I know why it's happening. I was so distracted because I filmed these nails, which I didn't have to because I've already shown how to do these nails a few times. So that's already irritating because I just, child, anyways. I filmed myself doing this because I was so preoccupied with trying to get the camera set up and get the lighting. I went right into filming and I forgot to do all of the steps. I forgot to prep my nails. All I did was file. 
I didn't do the dehydrator. I didn't do no primer. I didn't do nothing. So my nails, I don't remember the last time my nail has came off because my last set that I just took off before this set was on for a month and a few days. My nails don't be coming off. So that's annoying. I honestly am over this set. If quiet as it's kept, I, I think I'm just going to take all of them off today. And I also need to do my feet because girl, girl, girl. So yeah, I'm going <laughs> to, my dogs are like us, <laughs> not y'all girls, me girl. My dogs is looking worse than y'all's dogs. My dogs is looking crazy. Y'all dogs is cute. My dogs is crazy. Girl, I'm so tired. I woke up exhausted. I really do feel like it was just the workout and then walking yesterday in that heat. I felt good after the walk. I felt good. I was tired, but now I, my eyes are so heavy. I was taking Vincent to school and I just was the longest blinks. I was like, I gotta get home. But we stopped at Target, girl. I'm gonna show you what we got real quick. And then we're gonna organize our room because I did do the laundry, but I brought the clothes up and I put them where they need to go. So I'm gonna put the clothes where they need to go and I'm gonna do my nails. That's what it is. That's what it's given today. I'm going to worry about filming tomorrow. And then I'm also going to edit today. So I don't have to worry about trying to edit tomorrow. And I can have my video go live tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a chill day. I am so hungry. I'm tired, y'all. I am sleepy. Like, girl, girl. I ate that little Caesar salad last night. And I got in the shower and took my butt to bed. And you would think that I was up all night. And I was not. I'm tired. Last time I'm sad. <laughs> little baby Target haul. I don't know what I went there for, child. But I left with. I'm gonna show you what I left with. So we're going to Portugal for a wedding this summer, and this is my first time in Europe. So I want to do like series around, just like you know, let's get some looks together for Europe type vibes. So I got this bag. I, one I don't have like pop a color bag like this, and I got it specifically for this dress. Now. I love the idea of yellow and green and yellow and pink. And I think it's so cute. This type of yellow or highlighter green or whatever you want to call it. I didn't want to do like a pink bag or a matchy bag. But look at this dress. Now, I know it probably is giving nightgown <laughs> when I'm holding it up like this. But it is so freaking cute, y'all. So if y'all watch my Kirby Girl video, um, I have a brown one on. It's the exact same. The exact same style, but a different print. I love it so much. So I did try this on there. And y'all, it is an extra large. The other one that I got is an extra, extra large. Dare I say we losing inches? That was just last month. Last month when I got that. So I tried the extra, extra large on and it was not extra, extra large. And so we got an extra large, honey. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got this cute little tank top. It was $12. I got this in a medium because it's like that jersey stretchy material. But I thought this was so cute with like jeans. I think it would be a cute way to wear stuff like jean shorts, even a skirt, like a satin skirt, something real cute, not for Europe or whatever, but this she might go because this is cute. It's giving European summer. And then I got these shoes. So I have been eyeing these for, a, since they got them, I want to say over a month ago. Um, I kept going back and forth with the style because I just was like, mm, I don't know. But I like them. So I got them. I'm trying to take the paper off so y'all can see them. But they're the flower little heels. Come on, girl. You embarrassing me. They look a little funny on, they look a little funny right here. But on the foot, it looks so cute. I'm telling y'all, it looks so cute. I think these will be so pretty with this dress, but with some other dresses that I have. I realize that I don't have white heels. Um, and I, even though this is like a fun one, this would be dope if applique came off, but it's okay. But I just don't have any white heels and they're little baby kittens. So I just think they're so cute. So yeah, I'm taking these to Europe, probably. I don't know. Girl, that's in two months. But anyways, I'm getting prepared. But I'm also trying to get prepared for Essence. Last night I did a little bit of shopping online. Just a little bit. Those things should be here tomorrow. So I'll show y'all when they come. But yeah, so that's what we got from Target. And then I also grabbed some stuff for coffee. I'm trying to be a coffee girl. So I'm doing keto. I actually... I actually think I'm about to make one right now just to wake me up. But I grabbed this zero creamer. This is zero sugar, zero added sugar inspired by caramel macchiato. And this is the Starbucks one. We have 1.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of sodium, one gram of carbs, and less than one gram 
uh, total sugars and no protein, y'all. So, and then I also got this skinny, what is this? Jordan Skinny Syrup Salted Caramel. I thought we had this, but maybe one of the kids threw it out or something because I could've swore I already had this, but I got that because I'm not, I don't think I like this one. This is the French vanilla one and I'm not a fan of it despite what you see you see it's been used but i've been trying to like it i'm more of a caramel girl give me the caramel i wish i could drizzle some caramel around the rim of the cup but i can't so i ain't <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and make my little coffee i'm gonna find a little recipe on tiktok maybe doing like shaking shaking espresso martinis and stuff mm, martinis girl where's my head at big deal i have you to thank i tell him if you hadn't put me on Cannon's radar, none of this would have happened for me. Wednesday. We're just putting on some sunscreen. About to head to the gym. No luck. Yesterday, girl, I did these nails and then I did my toes and then I edited. I did a bunch of editing from the videos that we did the other day. So my YouTube videos, which one is going up right now. And then I'm going to make, when I come back from the gym, I'm going to make the thumbnail and stuff. But it is up. Oh, it's done. SD and HD just got done. So we're about to head to the gym, about to throw my socks on. It's not five o'clock in the morning, you know, it's not, it's 7.58. I did not set my alarm. And typically I was waking up on time, but I think my body was like, girl, we need some rest. Cause typically I wake up around five anyways, but yeah. Um, we're about to head to the gym. Don't know how much I'm gonna capture because when we go this late, girl, the gym be packed, packed. And quite frankly, I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time to be pulling out the camera. Girl, people, then they got questions. They want to ask what you're doing, where you get the camera from, which I have no problem. I'll be helping the girls. But, girl, I'm trying to get my workout in. That on top of people just coming and don't, it's just too many people. Too many people. We're going to capture something now. I'm going to meet y'all back here. We might stop at the grocery store before we come back here. Might. Cause I don't got no more protein, y'all. No, I really don't. I don't know more protein besides protein powder. I ate all the fish, ate all the chicken. So yeah, yeah, we need some protein. I got some oysters, but I need some protein. So you don't stop at the stuff. I really want some new gym shoes. I feel like at this point I deserve because child been in the gym for months. And the shoes, not saying that there's anything wrong. Well, they crusty. They're the Ivy Park Adidas collab, which I love those, but they're just so dingy. I want a black pair. I need a black pair. I gave my black pair that I had. I had the Nike. Oh, I don't know the name of them. Oh, I, I feel like it's out with an R. Or M. I don't know. But I had those and I ended up giving them to my daughter. Well, she ended up taking them for me, honey. <laughs> and I'm giving them to her and then I've just never seen them again. I let her use them and then I never seen them again. And then when I did see them, they had marker and different shoelaces. And girl, I didn't know I gave this to you. <laughs> I didn't know I gave you my shoes. So yeah, I want some new shoes, but that's neither here or there. Let's get out of here. So we are back i'm back looking like a little like a little boy <laughs> i'm gonna show y'all what we picked up from target the workout was cool i didn't stay for too long i only stay for an hour typically i stay for an hour and a half 
hour and a half, hour 45, but we got things to do today. So I was gonna, let me wrap this thing up. And of course we're still gonna go get our evening walk in later on. Your girl's legs on fire, on fire. I don't know what I was thinking the other day, the day before yesterday when I was working. <laughs> you crazy girl. But I am gonna stretch shortly here. I'm so mad, did not get more recovery BCAA powder. That expired, I didn't even know that. But we're here, like I said, show y'all what we got. Grab some chicken thighs as well as thinly sliced chicken breast. I don't like regular chicken breast. Give me the thins. And then I also picked up some, I like to restock these little simmer sauces. I love these good and gather simmer sauces. It's just easy. You ain't gotta think about dinner. Go on and throw some veggies with this and some protein. Girl, you got a whole meal. I am gonna add rice to ours. Well, for them. Yesterday, oh my God, y'all. They acted like it was the end of the world because I did not cook yesterday. Because I'm good, I'm doing keto. I got my meals. Y'all know I don't be cooking every single day. Y'all know. But they literally was walking around this house, moping, being so dramatic. <laughs> I was cracking up and then they all decided to go to Wendy's. So the kids and Vino, but whatever. I got goals. <laughs> we also grabbed some more coffee, needed that. And then I grabbed two of these. So these are the, what is this considered? A smoothie? So these are the two good smoothies. This is the brand of yogurt that I like to use. Um, it has 10 grams of smoothie, <laughs> smoothie, 10 grams of protein in it, 70 calories. It does have five carbs and three grams of sugar total, but it doesn't have any added sugar or anything. And the way that I have not been doing carbs unless it's been veggies over here, I'm fine. This is not gonna knock me out of toast. I also grabbed some more broccoli and then I grabbed, so I grabbed two of these, which I think I'm gonna just, this is gonna be breakfast and then I'll, I'll eat some eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away, just get into my worship, get into my devotional, set the tone for the day. A few things that we need to do. We are going live later with Unique. Hey, Unique girl. We're going live with Unique. I have a little series on my Instagram where I've been going live with other creators and touching on different topics. I'm in my hosting era. I'm a whole moderator out here <laughs> and I've really been enjoying it. It's almost like a little podcast. The girls have been enjoying it. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, that's later. That's not until six o'clock. So our goal, since we did not do short form yesterday, we're doing short form today. The video, oh, what time should I go live with that? It's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna look at YouTube, actually. Let me see what YouTube says. I'm gonna see what YouTube suggests. I love the, the uh, YouTube analytics are truly, truly, truly that girl. They are unmatched. Ain't nobody messing with YouTube analytics. I just love YouTube's breakdown, how they just show everything. It's just unmatched, I'm trying to tell y'all. So I'm going to go to my analytics and I'm gonna go to my audience and then I am, when you go to audience, you're able to see what times you should be posting, which I just love that. It's really helpful. Other sites have it too, but I like that they also go into showing the gender, showing the age, showing all that stuff, but they also show you what your audience is watching, which they watching the girls. They watching the girls that I watch. They're watching Janae, they're watching Jerenica. Hey y'all, they're watching the girls. So they're watching Monroe still. They are watching Living Fearless. They're watching the girls. So. I love that because that's where I wanna be, okay? I'm with the girls. So I love that it shows me what my audience is engaging with. And it also shows me the actual channels that they've engaged with over the past 30 days. Or you can you can even, I feel like you can alter that, I'm not sure, but I just love that I'm finding the girls. There's a whole little community out here, hey girls. But back to the time. <laughs> so we got for Monday, no, it's not Monday, it's Wednesday, girl. So for Wednesday, they are saying peak time for me is four o'clock. Anytime between four and 10. So it's actually, and you that because all of the dark purple is where it's like peak time. So then I got time. So what I'll do, praise and worship, go ahead and do my devotional. And then after that, I'll schedule my video, make the thumbnail, do my description, get that out of the way. So I don't have to worry about that later. 
That also gives me some time because my YouTube video will be up too. So I can talk about that on the live and drive people there. So that works perfectly. And then we'll get into our videos. I don't necessarily know exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go on Milano and pull some things from Milano because I don't know exactly. I don't have anything planned. Yesterday was a blur, just editing. I was so sore, doing my nails, doing my toes. It was just a lot going on. So I, the last thing I wanted to do was script, if I'm being honest. So I didn't want to script. I didn't want to do it. But we're going to get to something today. I made a few orders. Some clothes are coming in. So I don't want to do too, too much. But I'm going to do just enough. I am going to do the dress that I picked up yesterday from Target. And I need to do some more direct to camera content. So after I do the description and all that stuff, get ready. No makeup content today. I just want to get dressed, get that out of the way because makeup can take a little bit because little bit I do have to set up and all that stuff. We'll do makeup tomorrow. I'm going to throw in an extra little short form day because... I need to, <laughs> I need to. So, and I'll just focus on makeup tomorrow. So we're gonna focus on fashion, messaging today, talking to my audience, nurturing specific content. And yeah, all right, let's get to it. It's 1023 devotional. I, I don't put a time on it, but we'll probably start getting ready around noon. If I'm being honest, I wanna eat, I wanna chill, I wanna get, gather my thoughts and really set the attentions for this day that the Lord had made, okay, amen. <laughs> and I'm repeating myself now, bye. <laughs> Friend, I am low down, I am dirty, okay? I am sorry, that's what I am, I'm sorry. I done started filming, I done got ready, I done did everything without y'all, my bad. So one, I'm realizing that when I lighten my hair, I lightened it brighter on this side than this side, and I don't know if I'm just not seeing that because I straightened it or I, because I put a little wax on the top, but it's bothering me. I keep looking at it. I feel like, girl, okay, because, yeah, we're going to fix that at another time. But um, we are filming right now. I'm actually just just about to put on the first look. Um, I did the talking portion just now, and then I went to go grab the accessories and stuff. And I said, I didn't even, I didn't even, I ain't even talk to y'all. I ain't talk to y'all. It's almost 3 o'clock. I ain't talk to y'all now one bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the accessories for this look. And, um... I'll prop y'all up. Y'all know how it is. It's gonna be a little B-roll. A little B-roll. When we get high from a breakdown We will just watch you from the same town But that don't change when I break down Then we will talk about the same time No, it don't hurt when I raise down Then my legs are not the same town Ooh, ooh, ooh Cray I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm tired. We got our water and our snack. The snack is berries and whipped cream. This has been my go-to because it like, satisfies me like the sweetness. I'm not even a big sweet person, but you, of course, when you can't have it, you want it. Got a little berries and whipped cream. It's 5.39, we got 20 minutes until our live. So I'm about to chill. I'm ready for it. I got the questions and everything, so I'm gonna let my phone charge. And that's gonna be that. I just want to check in with y'all. You're not getting none, boo. I'll see y'all in a minute. You girl. Oh, but girl, I'm trying to get like me, child. <laughs> I'm like, trying to keep up with a schedule over here. I'm like, what am I gonna do next? What's what's yes. going on? What's going on? But I am uh, um excited to jump in this into this. And you kind of spoke on a little thing that I want to um touch on is your challenge. So. Oh, wait, hold on one second. First, I'm going to ask just a few, just a few little questions. Um, for the people that do not know you, I mean, if you don't, like, what are you doing? But if, for the people that do not know you, I'd love for you to introduce yourself to us, to the community, and tell us a bit about you and how you got started with creating content. You know, in my, the lives that I don't really be doing, but what I do, I'm, I'm always like... <laughs> 
and over here it's always hey sis hey okay <laughs> So, hey, sis. This cannot be it. This well, cannot be the I respect the, I respect the hustle. <laughs> I respect the hustle. We all going to have those moments where we're trying to figure it out. You're in your figuring it out stage right now. You're figuring out what works. You know, 5 a.m. don't work for you right now. So maybe the weekends work. Do y'all watch, Um, I don't know if you guys are YouTubers, but do y'all follow Jerenica? Y'all watch Jerenica? Okay. Jerenica Micia. Um, If you don't, I'll tell you a little bit just about her. So I met her last year at Essence Fest, actually. Um, And I was telling her, like, girl, I've been following you for years. I just, you're so consistent. I just love how you show up. Oh, my God. Like, fangirling. Like, going crazy. And I was like, how do you show up so consistently? I was like, YouTube is, like, hard for me. She's also the reason why I started showing up on YouTube consistently after we met because of what she had said. Knowing that this woman had a whole nine, I didn't even know this woman had a job. She didn't even talk about it like that in her content. I did not, I thought this woman was a full-time content creator, but she had a full-time nine to five, Monday through Friday job. She was creating all of her content. She was batching on the weekends and editing on the weekends and dispersing that content out through the week and still showing up to her nine to five. So that's what I say by like finding something that works for you and makes sense for you. You're going to have to get uncomfortable. I do know that. You have to get uncomfortable because that's honestly the only way that we grow. We cannot. Good morning, my girl. Um, I'm looking very much like yesterday with my hat and my sweater. Y'all know that, um, y'all know that, y'all know that hoodie, that sweater. Oh, did I get this in my eye? Y'all know that hoodie, that sweater, that moment that you always reach for. Yeah, that's the sweater for me. This one, and then I have a gray zip up and a black zip up. These three have been in rotation. She's been, she's been the pick of the litter this week, okay? I take her off, I put her on. I take her off, I put her on. Especially on, like, the days where, you know, like, I'm creating and stuff. In between outfits. Or I'll start off the day in this, and then I end up changing. How many times a day do y'all be changing? Anyways, girl, y'all know the deal. We're putting on sunscreen because we're about to get outside. I mean, I put sunscreen on anymore. I ain't going outside. But that's not the point. We're about to go outside. We're about to go walk the dog. We're about to go walk these dogs. It's 6.30 in the morning, girl. It's Friday. Um, we're not going to the gym today. We are just going to work out around the house. I'm going to go walk them. Then I'm going to go on my walk. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to do... Yeah, we're getting into it. We're going to do upper body. Um, I just... Yeah, I didn't feel like going to the gym. I already have to go to the uh taylor gotta go get my stuff altered so yeah yes it, my workout today is going to be getting this room together because guess who still didn't put their clothes away me and i need to schedule a pickup for donations for them to come grab some clothes um some clothes a lot of the other stuff i want to take to a women's shelter but that's my workout today i'm gonna be doing house stuff that is a workout okay but I am going to actually go outside and then actually do a at-home workout. But um, first, I got to take these dogs on a walk because they're staring me down. They're staring me down. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I'm not going to bring y'all with because y'all know. I'll see y'all in a minute. Hello, friends. Okay, I wanted to show y'all this jumpsuit before I go get it taken in. Now... Now that I have it on again, I, part of me is like, I want to get a smaller size, but I feel like this size fits perfectly, perfectly outside of, you know, the alterations that I need to get done. I can't zip this up by myself. I cannot zip this up by myself. I did it yesterday and I don't know how I got it all the way up and now I can't. So there's a dilemma there. Maybe I'll just show y'all when we get to the alterations and I have her zip it up and I'll film a little bit, but I, okay, let me, okay, y'all see here, this, when it's, when I was able to zip this all the way up, 
this when I was able to zip it when I was able to zip it all the way up it wasn't so much fabric and maybe that's what I'm like looking at I'm like I feel like it's just so much fabric and also it is really long I am going to bring heels with me that way I can kind of let her know where I want it to stop but yeah I might have to just show y'all this when yeah when i um get there because y'all can't really see i'll i will flip the camera the other way so y'all can see let me try to let me try let me try one more time to zip this up to give y'all the visual and then i'm gonna make my executive decision if i'm just gonna buy another size because this is the 14 and y'all know i wear 12 14 16 so it's always up in the air and with pretty little thing little fast fashion sites you just never know so I feel like I can get to a 12, but now I'm worried about if I get a 12, is it going to be like, like all up in here where I don't really want it to be super, super tight, you know? I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Okay. I was able to zip it all the way up. This is also something I don't want to deal with. I don't want to have to deal with, um, this. I don't want to have to deal with that. So I want this to be as possible. So I don't know if there's a way... That she can take this in because it has that zipper. I'm sure. I mean, that's what they do. That's what they do. Look at me. That's what they do. Hopefully, we could do that. Because if I could just get this to sit up like this, right? We, yeah. And then also to get it taken in. Well, not even taken in. I don't I don't know. I kind of don't mind the, the flowiness because it kind of looks like a dress. But the height, like... But the length, we got to get that hiked up because even with heels there, let me grab up here. Okay. So right now I got heels on y'all. I am literally standing on the fabric. So these are higher, probably higher than the ones I wanna would want to wear with these ones. Ooh, maybe I'll bring, maybe, maybe I'll bring two pair of heels because I want them to look right, not just with one specific pair of shoes, but you know, with a few. This is the other dress that came with the jumpsuit that I um, just showed y'all. Um, both of them are from Pretty Little Thing. Ooh, let me not get makeup on it. Um, but this dress is so cute, y'all. Hold on, let me put y'all back, put y'all down. How stinking cute is this? This one's coming with me to Essence, okay? This is the Essence Fest daytime little boogie with a little, I'm thinking like with a cute little sandal, even like a little tennis shoe I think would be cute to dress up like the girly and the the um like sporty type of vibe. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to style her yet, but I know she's coming to Essence because the entire back is out. Back rolls definitely will be out in New Orleans because it's too hot, honey. Matched. I would love to be more snatched here, but that's all my doing. Okay, that ain't got nothing to do with the dress. Um, but uh, yeah, let me grab the other thing that we are taking to y'all. Okay, y'all ended up changing. I put on the black waistcoat from the Janae Naylor and Target collab instead, but I kept all the other accessories. Got my glasses on because I'm blind. <clears throat> Here's our our bag of goodies. I'm about to throw the shoes in here, and we about to go finally. I can't remember if I shared the scent with y'all or not, but I'm wearing the one that I was talking about the other day, the Radiant Grace one from Philosophy. So good.
time is 8 30. we just got done well i made dinner for the family and then i made my pizza look at it it's um i took like a little nibble um it needed more the sauce needed some seasoning i should have seasoned up the sauce um because this it tastes like tomatoes but other than that The crust is spongy. Mm, I mean, the dough is a little spongy, but I'm 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 not mad at it. Like it, it satisfies my pizza. I don't even know if I had a pizza craving. I just wanted to make this. I just wanted like something regular, and this is this is hitting the spot. I'm probably gonna eat. I'm gonna eat this one. And then see how I'm feeling. I got two pieces. The other piece is like smaller. But I don't know, honestly. After all that cooking, now I'm like, am I even hungry? Mm. I put tons of pepperoni on it. And I also put tons of chicken on it. Get some protein in. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Perfect match. It's back on Netflix, so that's what I'm watching right now. And I'll check back in with y'all later. Mm -hmm.